in this video. Um, um, so sorry. Please scrub that. I just can't help myself. So Bitcoin is printing sideways action, we're in a bear flag. Is it game over for the Canadian dollar? We take a look at the USD chart, we take a look at the CAD over GBP chart. Economists expect inflation will ease for a third straight month in September. And we have a look at what the US CPI data did last week. Let's go. If I offered the information that would earn you £20,000, would you do it? Yes, you would. But if I asked you for £36 in return, you would probably close this video and walk away. And you should. But that's what these guys are doing on Patreon. They're paying me just £3 a month to support this channel, and I am giving them the information to earn £20,000. If that sounds good to you, subscribe and keep watching this video. So not much can be said for Bitcoin right now. I showed you guys the other day what the daily chart is trending at. And at the end of this wedge is basically days left before Bitcoin makes a move. Now, lots of speculation that moves will happen today and the Canadian CPI data is released in a couple of hours time. Now, are we going to break below the support? And even if we do, are we going to bounce back up? Last week, we saw this downturn on the US CPI data and we bounced straight back up to the top of the wedge before draining all that capital back out again. So Canada's next set inflation data could prove a critical moment for the Canadian dollar, says analyst at TD Securities. Canadian CPI is due for release on October. October the 19th, which is today. ISSA says USD CAD, the next major target is $1.40. We head over to the US dollar chart, go to the more advanced, and we can see from this chart that we are sitting at $1.37 with a potential rise today of 1.73%. And meanwhile, it may boost other currencies against the Canadian dollar, such as the pound. So again, over to the Canadian dollar over GBP. Now, for the pound to get stronger, the Canadian dollar must become weaker. So if that is the case, the Canadian dollar would print something down like this, maybe to the $62 area. So economists expect inflation will ease for a third straight month in September, but still remains significantly higher than the Bank of Canada's 2% target. Essentially, the CPI report could make the difference between the Bank of Canada raising the rates by 50 basis points on October the 26th, or a larger move to 75 basis points. Now, if we head over to Forex Factory, at 1.30 today, UK time, the CPI meeting. But next week on the 26th of October, it's the Bank of Canada's um, rate statement. So this is where they could be raising the basis points on the 26th of October. With all this happening in the background, this is what the last US CPI data did. It crashed Ethereum and Bitcoin, pushed it below support, and we came back up into the trending channel. We are still there right now. If anything, I could say we may print something slightly smaller. So we could retest this support, dip below, and come back up inside again today. Um, it's a good time to kind of think about taking... A, a small position but I mostly always and never trade these data points I did last week because I read the market beautifully today I'm actually sitting on the sideline believe it or not and essentially if we do hit this support at 1276 I normally say 1280 we could see the start of the move up to 1380 before the end of October Guys, I know you like these updates. In order to support the channel, I do need a like or a subscribe. Most of the uh, most of the people that support me privately actually pay on Patreon, which is why I do the advert at the beginning. And for those on Patreon, I do give advice on how to gain airdrops. If you like the sound of that, come and support me and help this channel grow. I like you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.